AcronHipHop.com. Welcome to another episode of the NFL Wrap Up Week 10. My brother, the Honorable Hiram Akeem, and I'm yours truly, Animal, the Lord of Discipline, and we're going to kick the ballistics on another week of football. What up, Renegade? Hey, everything's everything, my brother. Hey, man, you did so dope last week. We said, yo, let's bring you back for a second time. Well, I'm in to dopification. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dopification. <laughs> L.A. It's my, that's the animal dictionary, brother. Like Not to be that. confused with the Webster. I like that. And we call it the best. Yeah, yeah, it is. Hey, man, so listen, as far as the current events is going on, a lot of stuff been going on. Let's talk about Odell Beckham Jr. Well, you know, now that Odell Beckham Jr. is finally out of Cleveland, he's now a Los Angeles Ram. So we're going to see how things work out in L.A. because L.A. is already loaded anyway. Loaded. So, so he's just another addition to the L.A. paradigm, if you will. I thought, you know what, I, I thought that's where he should go. Where did you think he should go? Well, you know, I had him figure to go to a playoff team, a team with a, a quality quarterback, you know, that would give him the opportunity to get back to the Beckhamness that he once possessed. I love your word. Yeah, you know. <laughs> hey, well, he, hey, he probably would like it too if he see it. I like it. Okay. Hey. What about Cam Newton, man? That's the biggest news right Well, here. you know, right now, Cam Newton is back where he started his NFL career in Carolina. And uh, the first two times he touched the ball, went for touchdowns. So, hey, he, he doing his thing down there in Carolina. I'm rooting for Cam. Hey, 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 I got to. Except man. when he played my boys, but whatever. Hey, man, so let's talk about what you got going on for the new year. Well, hey, new year, new gear, Olympic paradigm. You know, started January 1st. We're going to really get people. I'm going to try and put it out there to get people back into the weightlifting aspect of, you know, exercise, doing what they're doing. You know, a lot of people say they got their New Year's resolution. Well, New Year's resolution, it comes and go. It starts at the beginning of January, and it ends at, at the end of January. But for me, <laughs> it's... New Year's Revolution because I'm taking on all 365. You understand? There's no stop. Well, listen, man. Let's go in. Let's talk about these games. Let's go with the Thursday night. Surprise! Thursday night, you had your boys, uh, the division-leading Ravens going against the Dolphins? What happened, man? Well, so you know what? One thing about the Dolphins, the Dolphins have been known to get quality teams down there and upset them, just like they did with the race Ravens just recently but you know for those of you who've been around as long as i have can remember back to that 1985 chicago bears football team that was undefeated and went down there and the dolphins upset them on monday night yes back in 1985. come on with the history Adam. yeah well you know i was there you know <laughs> you know yeah, so what happened with that game they stopped your boy uh action jackson what's, what's up well see what happened miami the Miami Dolphins defense was on one because Action Jackson, Lamar Jackson, whatever you want to call him, he just couldn't get into his rhythm. It just never worked out. That defense was on point in all faces. That was 10 to 22. 20, yep, they, 10 to 22. there it was. They put that young guy in there in Miami. What's two, two, what's his two, name? Uh, I can't pronounce yeah, his name. Yeah. Don't get me to tripping over my tongue. He didn't tongue. start there. Just him in. What happened? Well, hey, hey he's the reason why I could. Once he got in there, he took the liberty of appearing to be an elite quarterback. You know, I don't know if this is something that's going to continue or was this a one-hit wonder. Time will tell. Well, all right. Let's go with the Week 10 games starting on Sunday. How about them Cowboys and the Falcons? We're looking at 20, I mean, 43 to 3? Hey, the Cowboys, after the Denver Broncos beat the Cowboys last week, the Cowboys knew that they had to come back and prove that that was just a, a hiccup right there. That wasn't determining how the season was going to end up. So they went in on the ladder. You see what I'm talking about. They, hey, they did their thing. Hey, they did their thing. What about the Chiefs doing Chiefs things at 41 against the Raiders 14? Well, you know, the Chiefs haven't exactly had the type of season that everyone thought they would have. But maybe the continuity and everything is starting to come together. But quite naturally, the Ravens, I mean, not, excuse me, the Raiders and the Chiefs are in the same division. So that was a divisional game, which made it that much more important. So Kansas City had to go in on them. And that's what they did. What about the Bills getting off the, the schneid, if you the will? The schneid. 45 against them bum Jets, 17. Well, you know, the Bills took an L to the Jaguars last week. And, you know, just like the Cowboys, they felt like they had 
let them know this was just a hiccup. This wasn't a determination of how things was going to be for the rest of the season. So they had to go in on the Jets. And once again, that was a divisional game. So it meant that just that much more. Let's, let's um, go in. Let's go into the NFC. Um, the Eagles doing their thing against the, the Eagles doing their thing against the Broncos. Did you see that play where uh, uh, the quarterback um, Bridgewater didn't even tackle the defender after the fumble? Um, go ahead, speak on that. That score was... Uh, Bridgewater and them, they lost 13 to the Eagles 30. Well, you know, the Eagles put it in on the Denver Broncos after the Denver Broncos had upset the Cowboys just a week prior. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, got you. This week, you know, the Eagles just had to show and put them back where they needed to be. Now, as far as Bridgewater not making the tackle, well, you know, maybe he just felt the need not to get hurt. You know how... A business decision. Yeah, well, you know how fragile society is in these cats here <laughs> out there. I, yeah, I did say that. I ain't taking it back. Well, let's, anyway. go, let's go into the AFC North. That's what we're talking about here. Well, let's, let's expound. Oh, dear, I went to school, didn't I? Yeah. But anyway, we're going to expound on this situation. Starting with... Uh, who should we start with? Let's go with the Bengals. We're going to go with the Bengals. Well, the, Beng the Bengals was on a bye week, so they didn't play. Tell me what a bye means. A bye week means they just don't, they get that week off, they don't play. So they weren't in action. So they weren't in action. They were sitting at home watching so the game. So the AFC North is the Ravens, Steelers, Browns, and the Bengals. That's it, 14. They, they run in a tight race within that, within that division. Well, you know, the top team is not more than a game and a half from the bottom team. So they right there, neck and neck. So Everybody. it can come down to anybody. So let's talk about, um, you know, <clears throat> you know, we, we in Cleveland, Akron. Yes, we are. Akron, Cleveland. Yes, we are. What you doing, Hey, what you man. Doing? Hey, you know, my hat was crooked, man. Okay. I don't like that. So let's talk about what happened, man. Cleveland Browns got dealt with. Um, and that's a bad thing, man. That score was ridiculous, man. Um, I don't even want to say the score, but they got blew out. Well, what happened is, you know, the Browns went up to Gillette Stadium, which is in New England, and played a New England Patriot team that was on one. The Browns, who were perennial, already predicted to be in the Super Bowl at the beginning, before this year even started, went up there and basically got the asteroids whooped. Patriots 45 to Browns 7. What happened? Well, you know, hey, the Patriots just was, they just went on. The Browns defense didn't show up at all and you know in the process of that game baker mayfield finally somebody put the wood on him and took him out of the game that's when they backup quarterback came in and finished out the game even though it didn't make no difference in the final outcome 45 to 7 now what's going on with the Pittsburgh Steelers? now we need to educate somebody what a tie means in a tight division now you guys let's talk about the game first and then go with the tie okay what happened in the game well, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers were hosting the Detroit Lions. Did Big Ben start? No, no, Big Ben was, he went out on COVID. Okay, go ahead, let's go. What happened is Detroit has, is, hasn't won a game all year, you know. But they, they went into this game and, you know, Pittsburgh was favorite. But, you know, must I be honest, even when I don't want to be, the Pittsburgh Steelers is not a, an elite football team at this point in time. So, I, an understanding that the Pittsburgh Steelers have a tendency to play down to the level of the competition, I figured it would be a tight-knit game, you know. And, right. and actually, it ended up being 16-16 at the end, which the game ended up in a tie, which means that means nobody wins. So what is that? How does that reflect in the um, division that's so tight? In well, the being that it was a division game, it wasn't a conference game, and in the process of all that, the Browns and the Baltimore Ravens both lost. Everything is status quo. It's just where it was. Well, before we go any further, man, um, I'm excited about the Cam Newton thing, man. Yeah. Uh, we know he didn't start, but they're trying to say he's going to start pretty soon, and he was brought back. Talk about what's going on. Why this is well, so see, special. One thing about it is Cam Newton was brought back, and he ended up replacing the guy that replaced him. Come on, now. Go figure that one. But, you know, that's kind of how it went down. And, and to him, he figured that's home. And it was like a homecoming. Man, that was a storybook ending, wasn't it? Yeah, and he, and he went in on that. He spoke on it. Actually, Cam Newton, someone who has never really said anything of any significant value in front of the camera that I've seen, went in on it. And, you know, he really 
gave you some inspiration on how he felt about this ordeal because he knew this was a special moment in his life. So you got to root for somebody like so that. So I got to root for him. Man, I was happy to too. I, I, I was happy. Hey, the, 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 brother got, the brother's got to work it out. Brother's got to work it out. Yeah, you know. All right, let's talk about that um, Monday night game against the Rams and the 49ers, man. The 49ers pulled it out. What you think about that? Hey, them 49ers, you know, they was, they was feeling the need to kind of get back on the winning track. And being that the Rams is a uh, divisional rival, that's a good place to start out. So the 49ers put that San Francisco thing on it. Put that gold style on Yeah, it. stand the gold rush. But well, tell them about, man, how to promote, man. What's going on? Well, once, hey, if you got something you want to promote, you can uh, get in touch with the Honorable Hiram I. King. Come on now. You know. 330-937-2632. And there it is. Out of here, baby. Well, hey, this has been AcroHipHop.com, the NFL wrap up, Mecca Media Entertainment. I'm your host, Animal, Brother Honorable Hiram. We out.